<laughs> it's legal market, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's that all about? Um, you know, just the season I've been having, you know, she's been one of the people that's been really, like, rooting for me, and, like, she's telling me, like, just stay the course and stuff, so that's really why she's so happy for me. Before we start talking about the game, how close, it seems like your family, you know, your mom, your siblings, and, and Reed's family, they got pretty close. Yeah, um, just, I, I feel like it, it's just, like, just on how, like, they welcomed us with open arms, like, my little brother and sister, like, they go to Reed's mom house to stay out there, like, just, like, they, they, like, treat us like family, so that's why we're so close. How did the day feel? Um, it felt good, you know. Like I knew that, like I knew, like the preparation that I had today. I knew that I was gonna make shots, and I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna be that hot in the first half. But uh, you know, like this is just the work that I've been putting in is just paying off. Are you the type of guy that the first one goes in, the chance of it's gonna Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always been that type of guy. Like one of those guys that I wouldn't say I run off of my offense, but like when I see shots going, to, like you know, like okay, like it's gonna be one of those type of games, you know. Is the opposite true? You miss the first couple, do you have to avoid pressing too hard on it? Not missing the first couple, like, um, I'm in a better spot mentally where I don't get mad about missing shots, you know, like, early in the season I would be down, like, about missing shots, but, like, the work is, like, like finally starting to pay off, so it's like, you know, I'm going to make shots, I'm going to miss shots, I'm not perfect, you know. Well, I know all the way through high school, AAU, so much of it for all the guys is about my offense, how many I score, and all that. It's kind of an identity based on how many points you score, how hard is it to push past that and just become a basketball um, I've never been one of those type of people to, to like care about scoring. You know, like just off of where I came from, like Emotep is a, uh, a high school team that takes pride in defense. Like I probably, I think I had like six rebounds. Like my coach would probably call me like, if you had ten rebounds, you would have had a good game. Like he's he's going to tell me I probably had a bad game because I didn't have ten rebounds. So it's just like doing the other stuff that like helps contribute to winning. You talked about your mental approach kind of during games. Has it changed from the beginning of the season to now before games? Like, do you have a different mindset when you walk out before the game even starts now than you did maybe yes, three months yes. ago? Yes, yes. Like, I, I listen to, like, motivational videos before the game. Like, I'll take, like, two, three minutes to where I just sit, like, no phone, just have my headphones in and just, like, breathe, like, breathe in and out. You know, just, like, like some type of meditation, you know, like, just to get myself, like, ready for the game and be calm going into it. You feel more relaxed yeah. doing that than you did? <laughs> yes. How relaxed were you the last minute when the leave just... Away. Uh, I was really relaxed because, you know, like, uh, I believe in my team, and I knew, like, I was just saying, like, stay together. Like, we're going to win the game. Like, we're winning the whole game. Like, we're saying, like, everything's going to be fine. You know, just stay together. Like, we had Tone in, and Tone was, like, one of the other seniors, like, one of the seniors that's on our team. So he was just telling us, like, bringing us together and, like, just, like, finish it out strong. How important was it to beat the SEC champions before you go into postseason? Uh, it was really important, you know. Like, uh, I feel like it was, like, a statement type of game, you know, like, coming into here, beating them, and, like, how did they beat us last game. But I feel like coming in, coming into here, beating them, like you said, they won the uh, SEC championship already. What, right? I don't know. Like, uh, but yeah, just like just like a statement. How much confidence do you have in this team going into tournament time? Now, I mean, tonight it was you, Reed, Tone hitting the big shots. Some nights it's DJ. Some nights it's it's somebody I'm really, else. I'm really confident. You know, like we haven't had a healthy team the whole season. So now that we got our whole team back, like Trey has some. Uh, Coach Kyle says Trey has buzz of luck right now. So when Trey's get back to making shots, I feel like we're going to be really scared. In your life and stress. Yeah, definitely stressful. They're a good team. They came out, you know, full energy, trying to throw a punch, and we threw it back at them. So that's how I, that's how I ended it. So. How much confidence does this group have now going? I mean, you guys are kind of clicking going into the most important time of year. Yeah, definitely a lot of confidence going into these uh, type of games. We won like four or five in a row, so that's what we need to, you know, for these uh, postseason tournaments. So we're going to definitely need that when it comes to close game down the street. What can you say about Reed, the way he came up big there in the second half? He came clutch. He had a couple shots, you know, back to back, and that's what we needed to steal the game, and I'm, I'm proud of him. Can you guys feel sort of the helplessness that other teams feel trying to guard you all when you're in one of those zones? I mean, you got to have another stretch where you put up, I don't know, 25 points in five minutes or something crazy. Um, no, we just know we are good players, you know, bad people shoot, and, and they're a good team as well. They get some tough down, down the stretch, and, you know, it was going back and forth for a little bit, but we was able to pull up. You hit some big shots in this game last year, down the stretch, mm -hmm. and then you guys pulled this one out. This game, it means a lot. You guys came in here, Cal even said it, this was a do or die game for you guys. Definitely was. We came out, competed, you know, gave it 100% effort out there, and, you know, the young guys pulled through. You know, we talked about it before the game. You know, we got to come out with full energy, ready to fight, ready to punch. So that's what they did. Chuck Martin said yesterday he wanted to hold them under 40%. I think they shot 37.8. Okay. What was the key to holding them under 40? Going out to the shooters, uh, reading the game plan, staying in it, 
and you know just being there on time so they won't get it off. So. You had a battle with Connect too. I mean, you know, he was guarding you for a while. Mm -hmm. How could you speak to that matchup? Just Bumble. fun, competitive. He's a great player, and you know, just going out there and competing for the last game. You know, just you know, it was fun guarding him. So I'm definitely appreciative for that.